హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ దిస్ ఈస్ సుదర్శన్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ యు అన్ క్రేజీ సో ఈరోజు మనము ఫిజికల్ ఫార్మసటిక్స్ టూ సబ్జెక్టులోని బీ ఫార్మసీకి సంబంధించి టూ మార్క్స్ క్వశ్చన్స్ యూనిట్ వైజ్ డిస్కస్ చేద్దాం అనుకుంటున్నాను సో యూనిట్ వైజ్ టూ మార్క్స్ ఫిజికల్ ఫార్మసటిక్స్ టూ సబ్జెక్ట్లో డిస్కస్ చేద్దాం ఓకే రైట్ సో ఫిజికల్ ఫార్మసటిక్స్ టూ B Pharmacy, second year, second sem వాళ్ళకి యూనిట్ వైజ్ యూనిట్ కొలాయిడల్ డిస్పర్షన్స్ సో ఈ యూనిట్లో వాట్ ఆర్ ద టూ మార్క్స్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద టుడే వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ రైట్ కొలాయిడల్ డిస్పర్షన్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఈస్ కొలాయిడల్ డిస్పర్షన్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ యూనిట్ దే విల్ గివ్ యూ టూ మార్క్స్ అట్లీస్ట్ టూ ఆర్ three questions to you so that's why that uh, importance of two marks uh, for uh, getting pass in your university exam so that is the intention of mine today i am doing this kind of uh, uh, videos for you people right colloidal dispersions it is heterogeneous system which consists of disposed phase and dispersion medium in which the particle size of disposed phase ranges from 1 nanometer to 1 micrometer so heterogeneous system means it is nothing but having two or more phases like uh, liquids or gases semi solids solids likewise the combination of a mixture that is called as heterogeneous here colloidal dispersion is nothing but heterogeneous system which consists disposed phase disposed phase and dispersion medium disposed phase and dispersion medium in which the particle size of disposed phase ranges from 1 nanometer to 1 micrometer so that is uh the definition of colloidal dispersions right it is heterogeneous systems which consist of dispersed phase and as well as dispersion medium in which the particle size of dispersed phase ranges from 1 nanometer to 1 micrometer this phenomena is called as colloidal dispersions very very important so that is the two mark questions to you coarse dispersions it is in which the size of particle is greater than 0.5 micrometers so what are the particles having like greater than 0.5 micrometers that particles or we are going to set to be coarse dispersion right so that is coarse dispersion in which the size of particle is greater than 0.5 micrometer is called as coarse dispersion next one is tendal effect very very important tendal effect uh, write a uh, note on tendal effect and uh, they will uh, going to ask to you for two marks we'll see now the tendal effect when a beam of light is passed through a colloidal solution the path of light gets illuminated this phenomena is called as tendal effect so when a beam of light is passed through a through a colloidal solution whatever the colloidal solution is there in through that we need to pass out one kind of a beam of light and what happen means the path of light gets illuminated so this is the results uh, easily you can identify when the beam of light passes through the colloidal solution so after uh, pass the light the path of light gets illuminated this is the important thing we need to analyze the path of light gets illuminated this phenomena is called as effect tendal effect this kind of effect is called as tendal effect next one is brownian moment it is one kind of motion i mean uh, nothing but the moment it is defined as the continuous collisions the continuous collisions between the colloidal particles and molecules cules of dispersion medium producing a zigzag movement of colloidal particles zigzag movement of colloidal particles so brownian movement or brownian motion is nothing but uh, it is a one kind of a zigzag movement of colloidal particles that is called as brownian movement it is nothing but the 
continuous collisions between the colloidal particles and molecules of dispersion medium producing zigzag moment of colloidal particles is called as Brownian moment. Next one is electrophoresis. It is defined as the moment of colloidal particles, the moment of colloidal particles through the a liquid under the influence of electrical field i mean which is uh, the maintains the the charges like a positive and negative charge which is produced current that entire unit is called as electric field so here the electrophoresis is defined as the movement of colloidal particles through a liquid under the influence of electrical field is called as electrophoresis dunan effect Donan effect, it is nothing but, I mean, uh, the definition is, it is defined as the charged particles fails to distribute equally, fails to distribute equally across the two side of membrane due to a difference charged substance which are unable to pass through the membrane and therefore create uneven electrical charge uneven electrical charge this phenomena is called as donan effect i mean here the thing is the charged particles fails to distribute uh, uh, fails to equally distribute across the uh, two side of membranes due to different charged substance which are unable to pass through the membrane so it can't able to pass through the membrane so uh, due to that results it creates uneven electrical charges this effect is called as donan effect so these are the very very important two mass question colloidal dispersions coarse dispersion tyndall effect brownian movement electrophoresis donan effect so another one thing uh, one kind of uh, two more question is uh, that is uh, a gold number very very important gold number the number of milligrams of protective collide required in 10 ml of red gold solution to prevent the change in color from red to violet so here uh, to prevent the change in color from red to violet on the addition of 1 ml of 10 percent solution of sodium chloride 1 ml of 10 percent solution of sodium chloride so here 10 percent means you know very well 10 grams of sodium chloride uh, we need to add into 100 ml of distilled water from that we need to take 1 ml of sodium chloride that is 10 percent solution of sodium chloride here the gold number it is nothing but a number of milligrams of protective collides are required in 10 ml of red gold solution to prevent to prevent the change in color from red to violet on addition of 1 ml of 10 percent solution of sodium chloride that is called as gold number so these are the uh, various two mass questions in colloidal dispersions right so in another unit what are the two mass questions are there we'll discuss in next class okay uh, i hope you uh, people uh, like this uh, class here and then very useful to you for your main examinations easily you can write the two mass questions on the paper in your external exams so such kind of importance are there uh, this type of classes of you so Make sure that I hope you uh, like this uh, video and if you like me, uh, just uh, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you.